How's it, Jeff? So today's video is going to be quite an exciting one, well, at least for me, and especially because I believe there is going to be a major, major water shortage uh, in Port Elizabeth where we live. So I'm patiently sitting in my driveway awaiting the arrival of a brand new 10,000 litre eco water tank. I'm going to show you guys how I installed it, how I connected everything up, and also talk about some of the features I like about uh, the eco tanks. Also, let us know in the comments if you guys have an eco tank and what you think about them. There's our tank. Um, so, just, just fitting under the tree. <laughs> I think the guy's going to check that, um, that it's going to fit through. Yeah, it's, it's just fitting under there. It's, it's quite a large tank, so you can see it's just, just fitting under the tree. Um, so the plan is to obviously get it off the eco delivery van and put it put it down there. There's a wonderful new 10,000 litre eco tank, ecotanks.co.za. So pretty stoked, uh, keen to get this thing installed. Yesterday I did a bit of a makeshift base over here. So this is going to be a temporary uh, setup until we can make proper bases. So this had originally some concrete underneath it. It had collapsed a little bit over there, a little bit over there, and then you can still see there was a little section over there um, which had been thrown. I, I would imagine that it originally chipped out there. So anyway, what I ended up doing yesterday was just uh, mixing up a bit of concrete, screeding the top as best I could. Well, not really as best as I could actually. Um, I just put it up there as a temporary thing. I say temporary, probably going to be there for another year. Uh, as you can see that those tanks are also 10,000 litre. I don't think this is not, uh, it's not a real great tank, that one, uh, but it does still hold water. Uh, those are on uh, sleepers. These were originally here. Um, so I think the plan is to let this concrete dry for another couple of days, two, three days, and then we'll slide the new tank just into this area. I think we'll put the outlet over here on this side. Whoopsie focus there and then we'll run it all the way along the back and tee it into to this 10,000 litre and then there's also another one just there we go you can kind of see it hiding away over there um, so yeah pretty excited to get that in and uh, then we'll have some sustainable rainwater catchment and water usage <laughs> so the first thing was to align the tank and then push it into position. Now you could probably do this by yourself but having a few extra friends around uh, makes the job quite a lot easier. I also put down a rubber mat between the edge of the grass and the edge of the concrete because it's pretty sharp and I didn't want to risk damaging the bottom of the tank. So basically we are going to install a 90 degree elbow which then leads into a ball valve and then the pipe connects to the other end of the ball valve. So the first thing I installed is a 40 millimeter reducing adapter. Remember to wrap the threads with PTFE tape for a good seal. And also remember to not over tighten these plastic fittings. Um, the threads can be fairly easily stripped out or if you do over tighten them, the fittings can actually split uh, on some occasions. So uh, just a nice snug tightening will probably be good enough. If it is seeping or slightly leaking, you can always tighten it a little bit more at a later stage. After that, I installed the 90 degree elbow and again, not forgetting to put on the PTFE tape. And this doesn't require any special tools, uh, basically just taking uh, that 90 degree adapter and tightening it by hand. Next up was to connect the ball valve arrangement, if you will. So on the one side of the valve, we need a pipe nipple to a barbed end outlet. That's where we're gonna connect our hose or our pipe to. And on the other side of the valve, we just need a straight pipe nipple. So this straight pipe nipple is gonna connect the valve to the 90 degree elbow. So once the whole valve assembly has been connected and uh, tightened up by hand, the next thing to do is to connect the pipe. So we'll slide a hose clamp, a stainless steel hose clamp over the pipe first, then we'll push the pipe onto the barbed end and then tighten up the hose clamp.
now that the connection to our new tank is complete i went over to one of the junctions at old tanks so the pipe on the left hand side is leading to a tank on the left and the pipe coming out the bottom of the screen is leading to the tank on the right so what i ended up doing is cutting out the elbow and then installing a t piece so the left of the t will go to the left hand tank the bottom of the t will go to the right hand tank and then the right hand side of the t will go to our brand new eco tank now these fittings are just press in fittings you can see they they don't just slide in they do require a bit of force to to press in but uh, i found that they don't really leak and they tend to hold fairly well so as luck would have it we didn't end up beating the rain it came down in buckets but i carried on working i wanted to try and get the job or the tanks connected up as quickly as possible to try and start collecting as much water as possible. I continued to connect up the pipe from our new tank into the T-piece. Now, because it had been raining, everything is wet and quite slippery. It was a little bit challenging, but I managed to get the connection made. So this green tank is one of the existing tanks we have. It is quite full of water already, uh, but I still wanted to replace some of the pipes and fittings. So ended up just screwing some new fittings on there, of course, remembering to apply thread tape and then tightening it up again, not too tight to split or strip any threads, but just tight enough so that it wouldn't leak. So the last bit of the installation is to connect up that existing green rainwater tank and the new outlet pipe we installed is to connect that into the bottom of our T-piece. Once this is connected up, uh, basically everything is done and then we can open up the ball valves and start letting the water equalize between all three tanks. And we can also start catching some new rainwater. So once we open the valve, you could actually hear that first gush of air and we can hear the water starting to flow into the tank. And of course, if we look into the manhole, we can see that the tank is starting to fill. So the last thing to do was just to pop the lid on and screw the lid closed once again. We eventually got the tank installation complete, of course, just in time for the rain to finish. But anyway, it's uh, looking fairly good for now. Um, remember, this is a temporary setup. So, um, of course, you know, the, the fittings and everything are all connected up pretty well. They don't leak or anything, but it doesn't look super neat. Uh, we are going to be building proper tank stands, but we wanted to get this in and get the tanks full of water because we believe that there is going to be a water shortage pretty soon. I also didn't show the installation of that little breather pipe, the reason being I was in a little bit of a rush. I mean as you can see it was raining pretty hard and it was just getting a little bit too much to film everything. Uh, but I'll show you in the next tank. Um, so those are installed now and we've still got that beautiful little tank there, that's a 5,000 litre tank. We are going to take that a new tank and we are going to remove the old tank. Ah, focus, we're going to remove the old tank down there and we're going to swap those two and that old tank we'll take to the back um, and I'd rather have a brand new eco tank standing in the front yard. One of the features I do like about these eco tanks is the way the lid is designed. So um, these lids have got a slight dome on the top, obviously for the water to run off, but it's also got this ridge or this lip all the way around. And that is quite nice uh, because it's sealed. So once the, the lid is installed onto the tank and screwed down, this lip completely seals around the edge of the manhole cover. Um, so it keeps all those little bugs and creepy crawlies out and even over time if it had to warp uh, because of standing in the sun or whatever the case is it'll still stay nicely sealed if we compare that to the tanks that have got this flat style of lid um, this is a great example this one has seen uh, quite a good many years of sun it is slightly warped and we can see if we look closely there there's quite a big gap 
for whatever wants to crawl in and fall into the water, it can do so freely, which is why I prefer that uh, tank lid with the whole lip design around it. Another feature I like about the design of these eco tanks is the top of the tank. It's got a rather large curve to it, so the water runs off really well, but it's also got three rather large curved ribs. There's one over there, one around there, sorry about the focus, and one around there. So it's not likely to collapse over time. Comparing that to one of the other tank designs that's around, I'm sure you guys can see the problem already, but as a quick overview here, uh, this tank is a good couple of years old and we can see that the roof has taken a bit of a beating, uh, not from people climbing on it, but just from general wear and tear. But every time it rains now, uh, water collects over there, over there, over there, and over here. And it is a breeding ground for mosquitoes and larvae and whatever else wants to live in there. It is not a great scenario to be in. So that's it for the installation of our 10,000 litre eco water tank. But before you guys go, I think there's another video you will be interested in. It'll be somewhere over here or the link will be in the description. My goodness, what is that? <laughs> Big flying thing. Uh, it is about installing and swapping out a brand new 5,000 litre water tank with a submersible pump. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. My name is Grant Burton. This is the Burton Builds Garage and you guys will see me in the next video. Cheers.